So today we are going to talk about short rows in knitting. And a short row is when you are going to work only across part of your knitting and then turn around and leave some stitches unworked. And if you think about what you're doing, if you have a field of stitches this long and you work from this end over to here and then you turn around and you come back over to here and then you turn around and you come back over to here and you turn around and come back at each of those turns you're doing what is called a wrap and turn and those wrap and turns are done in order to hide any holes but look at the shape that we're creating by doing those wraps so this is a way of creating either a triangle or a wedge um, or even a crescent shape uh, in your knitting where you're just filling this area just little bits at a time and it's a very commonly used technique and more and more commonly used technique um, for all kinds of shaping both in shawls and in apparel so I'm going to walk you through um, both the creating the wrap and the turn and then how to come back and pick up those wraps both in the per on the purl side and on the knit side okay so your pattern is going to tell you how far to knit. So on this one, I'm just going to work um, kind of toward the center of my work. Uh, so I'm going to come in, let's say about, I have 20 stitches on, and so I'm going to go ahead and purl in about 15 stitches, roughly. Get myself a little bit more yarn. Okay. A wrap and turn is always the same thing regardless of which side you are on. You are always going to, okay, I just finished my purl. If I purl, my yarn is in the front of my work, okay? So you will always take your yarn to the other side of your work. You will slip the next, next, next stitch on your left hand needle purl wise onto your right hand needle. You will then return your work to the correct side of your, your yarn, excuse me, to the correct side of your work and you will slip that stitch back. So I'm going to show you nice and close in here. See you have this wrapping around that stitch. So when I turn my work, I can actually see that wrap right there. And the reason we're wrapping the stitch is if we just turn, it leaves a really big gap. So now I'm going to knit back three stitches and at three stitches, I'm gonna wrap it and turn again. So again, the wrap is, you take your yarn to the opposite side of your work, you slip the next stitch purlwise, you take the yarn back to the original side of the work, slip that stitch on, you can see your wrap, you turn your work, and you're ready to go back. So now, I'm going to do what's called work to my wrap stitch, and I'm gonna pick up my wrap that wrap stitch is right here. And I've been working um, on, a, on a class uh, where we're using this for short row shaping and people have a hard time identifying exactly where that little wrap is. And so, because sometimes, especially on the pearl side, it can look like a pearl bump, but it's above, right? The other pearl bumps, it's kind of like in between. And if you really look at it, you see that wrap goes all the way around that stitch. When we pick up our wraps, we want to think about picking them up from the public side of our work, or in this case, the right side of our work. So we're going to come and find that wrap on the knit side. We're going to lift it up onto the needle, and we're going to purl the wrap and the stitch together as if they were one. I'm going to go ahead and work one stitch, and I'm going to wrap and turn again. So I'm gonna take my yarn to the other side of the work. I'm gonna slip my stitch as if to purl, bring my yarn back, slip the stitch back, and turn my work. And now I'm going to knit to that other wrap. If you look at your work, there's going to be a gap, right? When you really stretch your stitches out, that gap is where the wrap stitch is. And the wrap stitch is always the stitch to the right of the gap. When you are new to this, I strongly recommend that you go ahead and mark your wrap stitch or even mark the wrap itself with a locking marker. So we're gonna come forward, knitting until we see that wrap. That wrap is right there. Again, I can see the wrap here, front leg and back leg. 
Since now I have the right side of my work facing me, I want to lift this wrap from the right side of the work so it doesn't hang out there, so it stays hidden. So I come into the wrap knitwise, come into the stitch knitwise, and then come through both. And I'm going to go ahead and work one stitch past, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap and turn again. So wrap and turn again is yarn to the other side of your work, slip that stitch purlwise, stitch goes back on the needle, sorry, the yarn came to the back again, stitch goes back on the needle, and turn your work. And again, if I pull my stitches apart, I can see that my gap is right there. And so this is my uh, wrapped stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and purl to that wrapped stitch. And when I get to that wrapped stitch, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that wrap. And again, since I am now on the purl side, I'm going to pick up that wrapped stitch from the right side of my work or the public side. I'm going to pop into that front leg from behind, right, and below, and I'm going to put it up on the needle, and I'm going to purl the, the wrap and the stitch together as if they were one. I'm going to go ahead and work a stitch and wrap and turn again. Take my yarn to the other side of the work, slip my stitch, return my yarn, return my, my stitch, turn my work, and you can already start to see the wedge that we're creating and you can look in here and see there's my gap right there and so there's my wrap stitch. I'm going to show you the knit side one more time. And you can, if you uh, need a little help, kind of keep your thumb in that gap so you know when you get to that stitch that's the one you're going to do. Okay, I'm there. So I'm going to find my wrap again. That's my back leg. This is my front leg. Since I'm on the knit side and I want to make sure I hide that stitch from the knit side, I'm going to come into it as if to knit, come into the stitch as if to knit, wrap my needle, and come through both of them and all the way off. And there you go. That is wrap and turns in a continental style of knitting.